Hey, I'm Matthew P. Munger, and it's time to explore a new feature in Webflow. Display sale prices by setting a compare at price in Webflow eCommerce. Let's jump right into a project to see how this works. Opening a product, we can see the new feature, compare at price, right next to the normal price input. The price input on the left has an asterisk, meaning that it is required. This is the value that will be passed along to the cart and then to the checkout page. The new compare at price is purely informational. That's it. That is the whole compare at price feature. But wait, how is that a feature? Well, it is what the compare at price information unlocks in the designer that becomes powerful. Let's use it to create individual product sales. Move the current price to the compare at price field, then enter the sales price into the price field. Now in the designer, on the product template page, connect some text to the compare at price and style it to show that the product has been marked down. We can then use conditions to hide or show the compare at price and even the sales tag. Now you can see the difference between a product with a sale and one without. Next, let's use the compare at price to create a wholesale site. We can use this feature to show the retail price or that of a competitor compared to our store's markdown cost. With a collection list connected to our products, we can again use conditions to add a visual badge to the products that are on sale. The compare at price may be a simple input field, but it unlocks a lot of ways that we can dynamically promote products and give the customer relevant information or comparisons, which should lead to better conversions. That wraps up our brief look at the simple but mighty new feature of displaying sale prices by setting a compare at price in Webflow eCommerce. Like and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. All relevant links can be found in the description. Until next time, happy designing.